So you just heard me play a section from the song Bandoliers by Dame Crooked Vultures, drummed of course by the living legend Dave Grohl. And the section occurs at 3 minutes 11 into the song, well the first time it occurs it repeats. Um, and the BPM, uh, the tempo of the song is around 126, 128 roughly. You can get this drum beat, um, drum beats like this, plus hundreds more drum beats um, from my new Drum Masters video song pack. You can find a link for that just down here. Um, I've got a brand new website set up um, promoting um, this, this uh, video song pack, which I'm very proud of. Um, so please do check it out. Check the link beneath this video and go have a look and see if it's something you might be interested in. Hundreds of songs, um, hundreds of videos, charts, an ebook. Um, all, all, all the cool stuff that I've done over the years is bundled into one pack, so, so please do check it out. So let's now have a look at the um, first drum beat, the actual drum beat itself. Um, here we go. So the section we're interested in learning starts on the and of beat four. Up until that point, Dave is playing another drum beat. And the bit where it starts to get more offbeat and more syncopated, the section we're learning in this video, starts on the and of beat four. And this whole section is very upbeat orientated. There's a lot of stuff starting on the ands. And so the first bar of the notation is blank. Um, and the blank part represents the drum beat that's being played before, which we won't go into in this video. And then we have a bass drum and crash cymbal on the and of beat four, <laughs> starting us off on the upbeat of beat four. And then the second bar, um, the pattern kind of continues um, and Dave's right hand is playing on the ands of each beat one and two and three and four and the snare drum is being played on beats two and four on its own one and two and three and four and and then the bass drum is being played with the right hands on the ands so we get one and two and three and four and right hand and bass drum together. Now on the end of beat one, on the end of beat three, the bass drum and hi-hat notes before the snare drum, we have an open hi-hat note. One and two, one and two. So bass drum and hi-hat play together, hi-hat opens, and then it closes on beat two and beat four. So uh, one, and two and also three and four and then the right hand moves to the crash symbol on the ands of two and the ands of four so that the two notes after the snare drums so we have the hi-hat open into the snare drum and then we have the crash symbol following each snare drum so we get this one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and like that so the right hand is really just playing one and two and three and four hands, but we open the hi-hat just before the snare drum and we hit the crash afterwards on the and of two and the and of four. So onto the third bar now, um, and that pattern continues up until the and of beat four where we get the start of the little flurry of bass drum and snare drum, the cool bit. So let me just play up until that section so you get a feel of what I'm talking about. So hopefully you'll, you'll sort of feel the upbeat of ness of it when I count you in, when I count myself in. So here goes. Uh, one and two and three and four and one. And then we're going to go into the new section. That's a little bit faster. One, two, three, four. Okay, so into the, uh, the flurry, the bass drum, snare drum flurry. And I'll explain um, later in this video a simplified version of it, but for now we're just going to dive in and go for what Dave actually plays. So the right hand changes up into eighth notes, um, starting on the and of beat four. So we have the snare drum fall as normal on four on its own, as we did in previous bars. But then we have another snare drum note starting on the and of four straight after it with the hi-hat, four. And it, let, let's, let's see the, over, the, the, the bigger picture of this little lick um, rather than looking at each individual note. What we've got is a group of three notes being played through 16th notes. So um, if we just take the figure on its own, uh, imagining it starting on beat one, 
then we'd um, we'd have it lasting one e and a two e one e and a two e and and then a base drum and crash on three. And what we got is two groups of three played snare, bass, bass, snare, bass, bass, and then a snare at the end, straight after it, and then a pause, and then we got a bass drum and crash. So we got this, this, these, these groups of three being moved through 16th notes. We got this pattern. Bass, snare, snare, bass, snare, snare. And what makes it particularly tricky is because we uh, we got the right hand playing eighth notes over the top. So I'm going to use my correct bass drum foot for this. So I'm going to play open hi hat. So excuse the, the fact that the hi hat is now open. When Dave plays it, it's kind of slot, um, no, a bit tight, a bit more closed. So um, the first group of three, the snare drum starts with the hi hat, and we have two bass drum notes starting in between the hi hats. Again, imagining it's starting on beat one for now. One e and one e and. Then the second group of three, the snare drum starts in between the hi hats, and the bass drum start with the hi hats. Or from the note before. So we've got this. where the snare drum starts the pattern with the hi-hat, and then we've also got this, where the snare drum starts in between the hi-hats. And then when we put it together, which we do now, it should make a bit more sense. So we get this. One E and a two E. One E and a two E. And it goes straight into beat three. One E and a two E. It's the end of two. I'm getting myself confused because I'm looking at the actual notation and of course up here you're going to have um, the simplified version starting on beat one. So we'd actually get one E and a two E and. That's the I'm starting on the end of two. One E and a two E and. Da 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 One E and a two E and. Now you can start to see how fast that bass drum part is. Um, I think the tempo's around, where have we got it? It's 126 here, so that's, uh, that's the quarter note. So we're gonna get one and two and three and four and one the end of two, we end of three. One the end of two, we end of three. So pretty darn fast. Um, but that's what they place. So let's now put it in context with the actual section of the song. So what happens now, once we've got that lick down, you can practice that lick on its own round and round until you feel comfortable with it, is it actually starts on the and of beat four. Again, this upbeatnessness of this section. So all we've got to do is, do is play exactly the same thing, but it starts on the and of four of the third bar of the notation. So um, let me play up until that section with the actual my hat being used and my awkward right foot. Let's see if I can do it. A bit slower, of course. One, two, and A bit slower. One, and two, and three, and four, and one. That's rough. Excuse the dodginess of the bass drum foot, but there you go. That, that, that's, that's the section. So up until the end of beat two of the fourth bar now, and then the pattern just continues. Um, so we go on to the end of um, three, and we've got the and four, and, and it gets looped around. So when it gets looped, it's the bottom two bars, bars three and four, that get looped around. Um, and so let's just loop those two bars around a few times. One and two and three and four and one. And then um, when Dave speeds up, sorry, I was about to think about speeding up for you. Okay, I will. I'm thinking out loud. 
I will speed it up for you as well. One and two and three and four and one. Okay, so uh, when uh, Dave uh, um, loops it round, you hear this ba ba da ba ba da ba 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 da ba ba da ba 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 da ba ba da ba ba. It gets played three times in a row, and all that happens um, is that um, it starts on the and of four normally, and then the next grouping uh, of that lick starts on the and of two. So we don't get the crash symbol. It, it instead on the and of two instead of the crash symbol and bass, the pattern gets st started over again. <laughs> That's the pattern there. When you play it three times in a row, oh, I won't, I won't, I won't confuse you with the maths. It doesn't matter. You can use your ears. You can feel it. Um, it's just play it three times in a row like this. And it comes out in the correct place on the end of two. So you get um, um, a whole bar of this. Well, it's actually um, a bar and a bit. But again, because it all starts on the ands every time, it's all this um, uh, weird places it starts. It's quite confusing to explain. If it was a whole bar lick, it'd be a, a lot easier. But because it starts on the ands and ends on the ands of twos, and um, it's a little bit confusing. But if you use your ears, you'll get through it. So that's what Dave does. He, he plays it three times in a row. There we go. So I hope you found that useful, I hope you found that fun. Um, it was a lot of fun for me to, to work out for this video. Um, please do check out my Facebook page, my YouTube page, my um, uh, website. Um, please follow me, subscribe to my channels, uh, send me comments, uh, comment on this video. Uh, any feedback, uh, positive or negative, is always greatly appreciated. And I take everything you say on board. I want to improve my lessons and, and um, uh, give you guys more, more quality. Um, so yeah, please do get in contact with me, any suggestions you might have for future songs as well, and uh, I'll be happy to hear from you. So have fun with this, happy drumming, see you next time.